What is action and inaction? The wise see that there is action in the midst of inaction and inaction in the midst of action. Their consciousness is unified and every act is done with complete awareness. The awakened sages call a person wise when all his undertakings are free from anxiety about results. All his selfish desires have been consumed in the fire of knowledge. The wise, ever satisfied, have abandoned all external supports. Their security is unaffected by the results of their action. Even while acting, they really do nothing at all. Free from expectations and from all sense of possession, the mind and body firmly controlled by the self and do not occur sin by performing a physical action, really showing that this is an internal thing and where he's manipulating energy. They live in freedom who have gone beyond the duties, dualities of life, competing with no one. They are alike in success and failure and content with whatever comes to them. They are free without selfish attachments and their minds are fixed in knowledge. They perform all work in spirit of service and the karma is dissolved. So he's explaining here are three factors. The first he's saying that we need basically psychological death in which here you see Arjuna in the background, taking a bow and arrow and slaughtering his egos. Meaning the energy that is trapped or that karma that is trapped by analyzing himself, by using discretion about how he is using that energy, he's able to release the energy that's trapped in those desires. And through that, something new is born inside. More knowledge, greater knowledge. But this is also done through the sacrifice for humanity. This doesn't mean we have to go out and uh, start handing out food or, or teaching. It doesn't mean that. It just means that if we even meditate and begin to calm the mind down, others will feel that. And you are setting an example for others to follow. If you listen to someone and just purely listen without anything else, then that's an act of sacrifice within you and is a gift to them. So this is the real meaning of that. You're working on your own psychological gymnasium in order to bring about something new. As the last statement proves that, it says, as the heat of a fire reduces wood to ashes, the fire of knowledge burns to ashes all karma. Nothing in this world purifies like spiritual wisdom. <laughs>